Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. It could be any of those, I guess, depending on where you are. But most importantly, Happy New Year and welcome back to Wednesday Wisdom. I'm excited to be with you today and I have a, a great message, I think. It's one that we all need to hear. In fact, it's one that I want to share because it's impacted me in such a positive way. You know, this time of year, everybody's making New Year's resolutions and setting goals and doing things to try to, to uh, prepare for the new year, for 2021. And one of the things that came to my mind and one of the things that I think we need to focus on more than we need to focus on resolutions and goals is change. Think about that for a minute. We need to think more about change than we need to think about resolutions and goals. And because before we can accomplish goals, before we can accomplish our resolutions, we have to change something in our activities to make that happen. You know, there are thousands of great quotes out there that talk about change. One of my favorite ones is simply, if you keep on doing what you've always done, you're going to get what you've always gotten. That implies that we have to make some kind of change if we want to get something different in our lives. You know, Einstein said that insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting a different result. But if we don't change something on our journey, if we don't change something in our daily activities that is gonna move us into the direction that we wanna go, then we're going to probably remain the same. So change is important. So how do we make change? First, we have to identify what it is that we need to change. What are you doing today that you need to stop doing, that you need to take out of your realm of habits? What is it that's holding you back from doing what you need to do? Well, it could be anything. It could be, as we talked about the other night in a webinar that I was part of, it could be one of the eight gaps that John Maxwell talks about in his book, The 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth. Perhaps one of the most significant ones that he talks about is the mistake gap, that we are afraid of doing things differently because we might make a mistake and therefore we won't do it. But change, if we decide to make change, then we have to accept the fact that there's a chance that we're going to make mistakes. And making mistakes is not a bad thing. Making mistakes gives us an opportunity to grow. But if you keep on doing what you've always done, then you're going to remain in that comfort zone and not make any mistakes, and you're not going to be moving forward. So how do you need to change? What do you need to stop doing today so that you can move forward? The second part of that is what do you need to start doing today? What is something that you know you need to do, but you just haven't taken the steps to do it? You know that if you did this one thing, it would change the trajectory of your entire life and business journey. What is it? I don't know. I know some things that I need to start doing that will make a difference in my journey, but each of you has something that you need to start doing today that can make a huge, huge difference in your journey. So I challenge you, write those down. Find out in your mind's eye, what is it that I need to start doing today to help me moving in the direction that I want to go? Now, I've, got, I've, got a list, I've got a list of things that I want, to, I want to do this year, things that I need to stop doing and things that I need to start doing so that I can be more successful on my journey. And at the end of the day, is that not all that really we want to do is to be more successful, 
to grow to our best version, to become the person that God has created us to be. You know, that's really all it is in this journey, is to be our best version. You know, a lot of people want to be something other than what they really should be focused on. Focus on you and your best version. Ask yourself, what do I need to change? What steps do I need to take to make those changes? Clearly identify what you think you need to change, what you need to stop doing, and clearly identify the things that you know you need to start doing. The quote by James Allen is pretty simple. He says, people want to change their circumstances. They want something different in life. They want to change their circumstances, but they're unwilling to take the steps to do so. Therefore, they remain bound. They are captured in that prison prison of not doing what they need to do. Now, I know that this is a great time for us to start thinking about what we can do differently to move us forward in this journey. The changes that we need to make in our behavior, the changes we need to make in our thinking, and the changes we need to make that will take us to that higher level. Change to me is more important than setting new goals and creating new resolutions. Because if you're not willing to change, none of that is important. It's about the changes that you're willing to make in this year to take you to the next level. Hey, I hope this message was valuable to you. It's been one that has been on my mind because I know the things that I need to change. I know that there's things that I need to stop doing and I know there are things that I need to start doing to take me to my next level. I'll see you next Wednesday with another Wednesday Wisdom and I'll look forward to that time. Thank you for being with me today. This is Jim saying have a great day.